quite a few times to my throat, right. which is better this morning. Thought I was going to be really ill, but I'm not. Let's have a look. It's quiet out there. Woohoo! Oh, look, there's nobody there. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. It was like Armageddon out there yesterday, folks. Oh, no. It really was insane. I would have filmed popping to the shop, but it was so dangerous. Oh, look at it there, Mark, look. I vote we wake up and we go out this morning when everyone with their hangovers is still fast asleep. Yeah, look at that. There's lots of really nice coffee shops. I was just <sighs> looking up. So you could go and have a coffee in three different coffee shops. Yeah. And then we can see Trace Airman. Yeah. If it's open. And then I've booked a place which is near the Turner for lunch. Okay. And it looks really nice. It's a Greek restaurant, it's in a pub. Mm. And it's in Condonese to travel and it's recommended all over the place. Oh. But I'm really, really worried. Why? Because it's available tables. And it's a pub. Yeah, but it's a pub come, it's bedrooms and I'll show you it. Oh my God. Oh, I slept so deeply, so nice. So nice. Ugh. The clock tower goes every quarter of an hour. It didn't in the night, but it does from about seven. That's a bit annoying. Oh, morning, guys. Oh. I have to say, it was a very comfy bed. Oh, someone just pulled up playing some of the most atrocious drum and bass. In fact, it was an insult to the genre of drum, drum and bass. It was like a man in a in a boot with a drum. Oh, there's a tractor on the beach. There's no people. There's no one on the beach. Look at Margate. There's something weird, isn't there, about seaside towns when they're when it's empty of people. It, it's sort of it's both ghostly and a bit battered and faded. It's like you can hear all the absent voices of children playing, and you can hear all the kind of squealing of families and all that kind of stuff but it's not there they sort of i kind of like them but like even down at Manans, they kind of blackpool places like that they kind of give me the creeps they're you of course tracy emin represented that clock tower in a lot of her artwork when she was younger things like old balconies who thought of putting that there? Who thought of putting that there? Look at that. There's the Empire Dancing place. Where's Dreamland? Oh, yeah. Right there with the Ferris wheel. The tractor's really giving it some. Faded glory, faded charm. Band stands, Waterloo's. Local alcoholics went home at a reasonable hour. So, did you say we're going to go and drink lots of coffee? Yeah, there's lots of coffee <sighs> So, by midday. The old town, that's where we went last time. Yeah, that's the restaurant looks really nice, looked online. It does look nice. My favourite cup, well not my only favourite coffee cups, because I've got a favourite coffee cup from Dina, and I've got a favourite coffee cup from Outlandish Creation. In fact, most coffee cups are my favourite. In fact, I've got a Tracy Emin favourite coffee. In fact, every coffee cup is my favourite, because it's a coffee cup. So, I'm hoping to find some more coffee cups. I quite like this vibe out here. I sort of feel like I'm Bit remind, this bit reminds me of my flight in Bristol, does it? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, it's that sort of vibe. Yeah. We haven't been in a flat. For oh, so long. oh, Mark! I tell you what, though, it was weird because we haven't been in a flat for so long. I'm saying. So I was like, oh, oh, there's somebody here. Oh. What? <laughs> no, <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you fell asleep last night when I was watching Housewives of Dubai. That was nice falling asleep to the and madness of that. And there was the most extraordinary decadence. So there's this woman in the pool playing with her three children, very green. rich, green. and she says, "Darlings, I've got a surprise for you." And these two men arrive <clears throat> with a truck 
load of ice cubes this big at the cost of 1200 quid oh my that god. they then put in the pool to oh cool my god. it down for the kids <gasps> you're joking <laughs> how oh, fabulous nice. is that well there you go now look sparrows oh, that's actually very nice we go down to the sea? yeah i want to look at the cocktail where are we going darling Cock-a-doodle-doo. This is Tracy's cocktail. All right, darling, everyone's heard you say cock. So now are you proud of yourself? You like God, you literally are like a nine-year-old who can't stop playing with his penis, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> are we trying not to not tell the world Nadia Sawala's here? <laughs> Look, guys, it's a Jubilee clock tower. It was for the Queen. Oh, stop talking to me like they're four. But it, it wasn't, Ooh, a, wasn't it's that a coincidence. Co it's like you turn into a Blue Peter presenter. But it's a coincidence. You know, I'm not as excited as you are. Oh. I mean, I like the tower. I love that building. That makes me feel like I'm in America. <coughs> yeah, it's a bit Vegasy. Excuse me. They just swore at us. Something happened and I don't know what. It was like an eruption fart. Do you know what I've just bought? It? What? These. They're the same as on the South Bank. It's exactly the same as along the South Bank. Must be the same manufacturer of Victorian England. Well, I was just thinking when you were in the <coughs> you must have been so sweet noticing everything all the time. Yeah, and everyone ignored me. Oh, don't. And they just tolerated me because I just went on and on well, and no, on. no, because your mum's a noticer. Yeah, but she didn't, didn't like me noticing. She was she noticing did. her own things back she, then. No, she likes noticing. No, now she does. Maybe because you're noticing noticing. No, she notices more. My mum notices things all the time. Oh yeah, we're notices. Oh, what's that? God, I wonder what's what the fuck had just happened. <laughs> uh, so here we are. Very sandy. It's like we're on Newport Beach. Oh, look at that beautiful oh. We're on the beach, Nad. You're on the beach. It's sandy. And we've got the most glorious weather. Thousand three hundred and eighty-five steps yesterday. Yeah, no, <laughs> pathetic amount. <laughs> we walk it out today. It lacks the kind of wildness of Cornwall, it has to be said. No, it lacks lots of things, but it's got a lovely sandy beach. Yeah. Um, this is the only. This is the size of the beach, though. That's what's so weird. And that's an outdoor pool over there, isn't it? Well, pool is a bit. It's just they've, they've careful, careful, careful Ness. Nice. They've nice. just sort of cordoned off a bit of the sea. I've just nearly stumbled on ink. They've cordoned a bit of the sea off. I went in it with the kids a few years ago. Me and Lisa and the boys and the girls came in for a whole day. It's not easy sand to walk. And it was this weather as well. Was it? It was even hotter. Ah. It, it's, it's weird. Because the girls said it was cloudy, but cold yesterday at home. Huh? I couldn't believe it. That guy lying on the beach reminded me of... A couple of a, a couple of occasions I've got so drunk I've passed out on the beach and woken up the next day on the beach. Yeah. Oh, in Ibiza, uh, somewhere else. I can't remember where. Somewhere else. It is, it is oh, no, that worries me. It's so dangerous. Could have been attacked. Could have been eaten. Could have been eaten. Could have been chopped up, turned into sashimi. Everything starts with cock here. Yeah. So this is a tidal pool, which I think was it built by the Victorians? <coughs> so obviously the tide comes in, fills it, goes out, play it. Fucking mini dam. I think I would have been a bit weird about it as a kid. We're heading over towards it. Clever though, look at that. It's got steps and everything. I thought it was genius. Look at that, guys. Steps. Yeah. Boating pool. Let's try and get up it. What's so. that song Maddie always used to sing about being an elephant? <laughs> oh, Mark! <laughs> 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 
about being an elephant. There we she go. She used to walk in the line and see about the elephants. Me and Maddie were trying to remember the other day. That's remember. proper, that's a proper little pool. Yeah, I love it. Are you, are you meant to swim in it? It says, boat, it says boating pool. No, no, you do swim in it. Do you? Yeah. I swim. Oh, I can't see anything. Nice idea. Everywhere should do this. Yeah. Right, should do this as well. Yeah, because presumably. Right, it's really rough. Pres yeah. Oh, what do you mean, rough as in sea? No, the sea is rough. Right. It's a bit scary. When I went there last time, Maddie would come in. We'd be keeping her a bit up. Look, it's almost turquoise, Nads. Look. I know, it's really cool. Though. Nads says, would you swim in it? And I'm like, no, because it says boating pool. I'm a stickler for the regs. You really are. Yeah, I'm like my granddad. It's so weird because you wouldn't think he was, but he is just, oh my God, if there's a rule, he, he sticks to it. <coughs> Might have to help me down, Nads. <laughs> I don't I don't muck about on slippery seaweed Mark stop. Mark <laughs> Mark no it's annoying now. Oh, Mark we're gonna fall puzzles. and we're gonna break oh, something okay. and our summer's gonna be ruined. Really holding on to See I forever come to places like this thinking oh no the girls would have gone What's it called? Oh, so... What's it called when you go rock pooling? They love rock. Mark, Whenever... We need more of this in our life. We need more rock pulling. Just being out, like on the beach. I want to be by the sea. I want to be by the sea so badly. All I ever do is go back to the days of when the kids were young. Mm. I end up missing things. The old town. Where's the greedy cow? Where's the greedy cow? Where's the greedy cow? Oh, yeah. It's like an old Roman town. Doherty's playing. Look. Oh, look. Look. So I'm just watching. Did we go in here? Yeah, you must have. No, I don't know who did. Oh. Yeah, you did. Oh my god, isn't that amazing? Look. I can't shake the roses inside. Oh, they've eaten a whole. Oh, I thought it was eaten. Oh. Just get oh, less cake. Today the girls would have loved that. Corpse bride. Mm. I'm playing. I miss the kids. Uh, oh, this is the Morrisons where the um, prostitutes and drug dealers accosted me last time. Yeah, that car park is pretty That's grim over there, very guys. Grim. Very grim. Look at this garden, guys. No, this isn't. This is idyllic. Look at this. The Tudor house grounds. the house closed today. We did, we looked around here. We went in here. Do you remember? No. Isn't that where we saw all the stuff about the pies and we did a little tour? Did we? No, that was Shakespeare's house. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> From a great height. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, look, it's nice, isn't it? She was right, though. Look, my mum's Yeah. We can go to this one down here where we can sit outside. It's just a beautiful morning. It's crazy to be stuck inside a coffee shop. Oh, the one with all the people out the front. There was nobody out the front. There wasn't a people out the front. No, there wasn't. Yeah, along here. Oh, in the square. <laughs> We couldn't film in there because it's bloody nice though. It is the vibes. Yeah. The guy who owns it or runs it him. has just got his fabulous Hawaiian yeah. shirt on. And the music, listen to the music. I could have sat in there all day just yeah. because of the music. So we're going to come back there tonight and have ceviche. 
Yeah. What? Ceviche. What What's fish? that? Which is what you love. Oh, I okay. love the host. Yeah, it's it's so exciting. Gorgeous coffee. They're right, they've either come off an absolute bender of a night and they're yeah. still partying, or they're just dragging themselves yeah. through a hangover. But that, the square is really nice. definitely recommend that place, uh, Wilds of Margate. It's quite a guitar. I find that a bit cringe. I get sweaty armpits when they're. Oh, you won't be there all day, my oh, God. I get so embarrassed. I hate being serenaded. Dina would go mad for this. Dina, if you're watching, look. Little bistro. What's that little map? Parmigiana Mezzanani. We've even got vegan ice cream, Dean. Oh, is it a vegan Italian? Is it? Oh, no, we've got mozzarella. But look, it's just... Oh, it's so, so quaint. Look, it's even got geraniums, Nad. Why have I not seen that? Maybe because it's closed. Pizza and Italian food. Oh, so nice. Ravioli, meat and beer, ravioli, Nutella cake. What? This place is perfect for us, except you would hate it because we'd be sat that close to people. I'd be sweating. Would you sweat? I know, I know you went well in long enough. You'd just sweat if we went in there. Don't speak. Did you notice how hot it was when Everyone's we went into Wild? To you. I was perspiring. Yeah. I did. Now, I think this is the store in which Karl Marx stayed here. Stayed it. I didn't know we started to put plaques up for people who stayed it. Doesn't everyone have stayed everywhere? This is our shop. This is it. I mean, it's closed. It is. It is. Egyptian breakfast, Nat. It's Egyptian. When you go to Jordan, this is exactly some breakfast. Look, Alexandria. Alexandria. Just come across the door and smell it. Smells just like I can smell it. Hey? This reminds me of Jordan, the smell of it. It's just amazing. Why did we get something? Child hat. Hmm? You deserve a book of. Well, I think I've seen that one before somewhere. Yeah, I have. <laughs> oh, I see. The shop comes into here. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's so cool. Look at that ice cream. Come back and get an ice cream. Look at the salt jukebox. Get an ice cream for a pudding. Place behind you is called Madam Pop Off. You're a bit of a Madam Pop Off, aren't you? Look over here. <laughs> Do a pop off. I can't find the coffee cups. Gone. I think it's where the barbers is now. Maybe we need to Google shops in Margate. With coffee cups. <laughs> so we are walking through the old town. The old, what you saying? The old town is really, really nice, guys, if you come to Margate. It's just set back, just behind the Turner, Turner oh, Gallery. That's what it is. Sushi. Sushi boobs. Sushi boobs. Sushi boobies. Booby sushis. Boob nigiri, please. So yeah, come to the old town. These are all the little kind of side streets. I guess it's like the lanes in Brighton, is it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, you go to Brighton on a bank holiday and it's torture. So yesterday it was torture. Yeah. It wasn't nice at all. Too many people, too many drunk people, too many angry people. Yeah, it's not noon yet though. Yeah, but so I'm just saying to Mark, I'll be interested to see if this stays like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or whether day, this becomes chaos. Because everyone be down on the beach. So are we get that pub later or not? Well, if we want. Yeah. So you have these strange little roads which are really sort of nothingy and ugly. And suddenly, just down the back, you find a lovely old pub, the Rose in June. A lovely name. There's so many. It's just saying. That's sort of place she used to love. Oh, this one's probably gonna. Isn't it gorgeous? It's gorgeous. Was it the 
Vader. What's going on in here? It's really weird. This place they use they use seaweed. Seaweed? Mm. Is that what they grow? Mm. Those things that went up and down. Oh right, and that was a swimming pool. That's a yeah. It's the Lido pool. Look. You can't see how it was a pool. Was it just a shallow paddling pool? It's like the one. It's like the other one. It gets filled by the sea and then. I'm presuming. I feel Tracy as a teenager. I can feel Tracy. Of course, Tracy had the most terrible time with yeah, Margaret yeah. as a teenager. It's so interesting that she put so much into rejuvenating Margate. Yeah. And I wonder if that does come from the sort of the trauma, trauma of the place. I mean, she was, you know, no bones about it. She was passed around a paedophile ring, wasn't she? Like continuously. Margate was a very, very seedy place. Now this is a shared space and I want everyone to just feel as included and as comfortable. Shared, shared with who? Shares with walkers and bikes. Does that mean you have to be kind to cyclists? <laughs> <laughs> I probably like him when I'm older. We race you. He's like a hell's angel. <laughs> Doherty's. The wasteland. Great. It's not open though. Now. Yeah, babe. That's, that's for you. Look. Axe throwing out the tonk. We want to get this confused though. They're just really perfectly like the one to throw an axe at you. It's a bit frightening, isn't it? I hate to say it, babe. I think my inner Pete Doherty is coming out. <laughs> I want to eat about 16 burgers and open a sort of bar. I'm not hungry. It's really weird. I don't know. No, I'm just thinking of taking off to Pete Doherty, that's all. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it looks. They're pretty shabby quarters and they're a pretty foo foo far far yeah. hipster bits. Little pockets of hipster bits. But oh. it's, 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 oh, it's saying, charming me. Yeah, Mark's starting to get turned on by Margate. Yeah. Now, I, as you know, guys, my dream is to either live by the sea or spend a lot of time by the sea. So the whole time we're thinking, hmm, could we here? But actually, there's no sea. Because there's no real, I don't get that feeling from the sea that I get from almost everywhere else we go. More so in Brighton, even in Hove, you get right. it. Yeah. Camber, I get it from Camber because the beach stretches forever. Yeah. Because when I go away to the seaside, I don't need fancy restaurants, I don't want anything. You just I want, want the sea. I want a fire yeah. and I want loads of walks and just to chill. Because we live in London, we've got everything in London. I want to go back to a simpler life. This is like walking along King's Cross by the concrete. That really is phenomenal. Oh, I, I know, I know, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> but I mean, it really isn't visual here, is it? I mean, it, I'll turn you around. So this is our view. That's quite visual, but that won't sustain you for long. No. 
couple of people walking behind us who were going into the axe throwing centre and they still look like they want to throw axes. I feel like we should start to go a little bit faster. I'm getting a bit scared. It's just 12 o'clock. 9,500 steps. Hey. 9,500 steps. I've done 8,500. How come? Have you? I must well, be. We've walked everywhere. We've been everywhere together. We've been Maybe attached to the hip. Maybe I do smaller steps. So if I walk like this. Yeah. Try that for a while. See if you can catch up with me. <laughs> or Bo's Kitchen. Where's that place we had Noodled. that meal? Noodle. Oh, I Ooh. just want to share with you right now. Last time we came to Margate, in there, I was approached by five prostitutes as I tried to get in to get the car out. And then in another corner, I was so traumatised, I can only assume. Maybe that's why they've got stuff around it over there. It was the most frightening experience. Those poor women. And actually we call them now sex workers, not prostitutes. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, but it was, and how many years ago was that now? About three or four years ago? Yeah. We were like, oh, we don't know if we like Mark. <laughs> place where we might get a bit of an unusual coffee. Oh, let's do it. Okay. Get on in. Look how beautifully I love that. I love that. That's a macchiato. Just see the end of your nose. It's, it's got a gobby on it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, it's open. Bit of Tracy. Bit of Tracy. You've got to come to Margate and do a bit of Tracy. Kind of, I have never uh, been to an exhibition of hers that I haven't loved. No. And it's always been so different. So different. It was that really massive one we went to like years ago when they had a lot of the textiles and. Yeah, that was at the Royal Academy, I think. Oh, yeah. That was yeah, so, yeah. I'd love to go. I'd lo I wish somebody would do a, you know, a massive one going through all the ages because she changes so I was so just saying much. to Nads, she's one of those artists, you look at a painting or an image or a work or whatever, and then when you read the title, it becomes even oh, more meaningful, meaningful. And, and, and clever and thought provoking and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, you were crying. <laughs> I slapped her, slapped her really hard and said, pull yourself out. <laughs> we are at, what's the name of this place, Nads? Um, the Georgian Heart. Very nice, very yeah. friendly, really vibey. They have different pop-up restaurants through the week. Sometimes they have Greek food here. Do they? Yeah, sometimes. But today it's more there. It's more like a pub menu. Oh, I, I like these bottles. Like. These remind me of pirate ships. Yeah. I quite, so. I quite fancy baked camembert. Baked camembert? With house chutney and flatbread. It sounds nice, doesn't it? Then I might have a burger. Look at this, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mm. Heaven. Mm. So naughty. <laughs> Stick it up, buddy. Stick it up, buddy. And I've got lemon posset with sable like biscuits. Like Mark, don't say that to someone about to eat it. Yeah, you heard it, but it had a posset. Lovely. Huh? 
Well, what happened? My jaw went weird. Yummy. Yummy. So, there it is. See, we would normally just walk past that and think, well, oh, that it doesn't look that great. No, it doesn't look but that great. But inside, so many lovely tables and little nooks and crannies. I've got a photo of one, I'll pop up now. Food was lovely. Yeah. Staff were adorable. Really nice. Oh, really love the staff oh, everywhere. Oh, Called the Georgian Heart. Georgian Heart, highly recommended. And we are talking to you right underneath the sign for Love Lane. Love Lane. Mm. Mm. Thank you for a lovely time. Oh, we're having a look. Yes. Are you making that sound? Two. We've done 10,000 steps. So we've, well, we've done way more. Well, yeah, you have with your tiny toes. Yeah. We've done almost 13,000. We've, we've gone right, gone right What's round. going on? You're doing two <laughs> steps to every one of mine. We've gone right round Margate. We've seen we've dogs. Had three coffees in three different places. We've been to a restaurant. There's, been, oh, this is very famous. There's moths this everywhere. This is the place to go, There's lambrettas everywhere. There's mods. Oh, it's There's, lovely. it's busy. It's a really nice feeling actually. This is a really nice feeling. Oh look, this is that little funny little funky road. So we very easily could have just gone, oh let's not go out and been lazy. But we're making ourselves go out. Mm. <laughs> Are those axe throwers behind tempted, us again? Were you tempted to go, oh let's not go out? Entirely. Let's get a bag of chips. Oh, just like... that's, that's bad, that's what happens at our age. So we're going back to the lovely little place where we had a coffee. Let's just go for 45 minutes, have a drink, have something to eat, come back. Because we don't get the chance to do that at home. True. So we're out. So and we're actually out. now I'm out and in the air I'm And we're passing Morrison's again, which is nice. Hello. That went a bit peak Tom. So we're now on our way home. <laughs> Not having eaten. And the reason for that is we came up outside the restaurant that we love, or up in here, Mark, and um and there was a massive hen party in there. Hen party. We're talking like the and people we saw on the Barcelona flight with penises penis. on their heads. The thing is, I don't think they were because I've got a bit of a cock on, so I wouldn't have any to fry. No, no, none of that chat. And it looked like they were sitting right next to the table we'd asked for. Yeah. Oh, oh so we're going in here.